Hello everyone, Don O'Don here with a uh, progress report on my Workhorse Air uh, taxi handling pro uh, process. Um, yesterday I came down here, I took the strap off the uh, behind the propeller, had the tail wheel off from if you see my last video, put that all back on, put five gallons of gas in it, checked everything over, pulled it outside, got in, buckled in, turned on the power, turned on the key to cycle and prime the pump. Pumped her up, you know, four or five times to get pressure on the gauge. Called clear prop, hit the key, nothing. No starter, dead. <laughs> didn't work. So, <coughs> because I didn't bring any tools with me or anything, I couldn't do anything with it. So, I first I came out and I checked the uh, solder solenoid connection, make sure it didn't come off or something. That was fine. But, um, uh, so I couldn't do anything. So, I uh, put it away and went home. So I come back down today. Today's Monday or Monday, yeah, Monday. Yeah, yesterday was Sunday. Um, it was kind of a crappy weekend, rainy and such. So, but I come down yesterday and did all that, and so I was only here for half hour or so and left. But I wanted to get back together, get it ready. So today I come back down. Today I brought some tools and test equipment and everything. First thing I suspected was maybe it's just the starter solenoid. So I unplug it, hooked up a test light. Airport manager was over here, and I turned the key on, hit the start mode, and he says, yep, light's on. He says, okay, I know what it is. Grabbed the little hammer, came out, tap, tap, tap. And then I uh, pulled it outside, hooked the start back up, and then, uh, boom, fired right up. So I've already had it out uh, down the runway twice. Uh, today the winds are 220. At, they were at 6, gusting 14, and then the first time I went out, Second time I went out, it changed from, it was still 220, but now it was 10 gusting at 20 plus. So, and it's been like that pretty much ever since I got here. So the first run I got out there and uh, no problems. I taxied around on this run uh, taxiway here for uh, long enough to get everything up to operating temperatures. Once ever the water temp and everything came up to where I'm happy, I shut her down, got out, did a walk around, checked for leaks anywhere, everything looked good. Uh, check the wheels and everything. You no, know, everything's cotter pin safe. Nothing's moved. So then I went ahead and uh, buckled in and started up. Took it out. Did my first run and ended up going. I had it up to just right about 50, 50 mile an hour. Uh, even with the crosswind, you know, you got about a 30 degree crosswind there. Runway here is 2.5 and the winds were at 2.2, two, so it was 30 degrees of crosswind. But it was a pretty steady crosswind. It wasn't giving me any trouble at all. The plane was just barely, barely moving a little bit as I keep track with the rudder. The rudder seemed to be effective at that speed. So I didn't break 50 with it to see if my air filter fix had fixed that, but I'm pretty sure it has. Uh, it was running good. So I stopped, came back, and then shut it down and went through and checked everything again so and then I took it out and did a second run just now uh, I didn't film it because uh, you can't really see anything there was nobody here to help me but I started down there I could set the camera up here but I just didn't want to bother there was people coming and going with planes and I didn't want to get in the way of everybody so <laughs> but the winds are a little too much to try and push it any farther today especially with the crosswind I did see that sock when I was taxiing back the last time it did turn 90 degrees uh, out of the south and I can feel it on my back right now even though the sock is showing out of the west it's coming out of southeast around this hangar so um, but if you caught my last video talking about wheel shimmy um, I just want to make it clear this airplane has never had wheel shimmy I've never had a problem it was just something I thought about like I was talking about see how that tail wheel is set that way if I pick it up on the nose it's gonna roll like this the fuselage is gonna roll on that tail wheel and that was what I was trying to explain with the shimmying but on this airplane as you can see see that linkage there those green chromate paint parts the two metal tubes that are bolted to each side of my tail wheel housing that keeps my tail wheel from doing that shake shimmy and roll thing uh, it can't go left right it can't twist this way roll that way so mine is captive and it doesn't shimmy at all uh, the wheel is just gonna it's temporarily on with a bolt net but it's fine it's I could fly it that way but I'm gonna order a six inch wheel and all I gotta do is unbolt that, pull the, pull that bolt out, and put another bolt in with a longer bolt wheel, and put it back on, and I'm good to go. So there's no big deal changing that out. Uh, and that'll that'll just pick the plane up another inch because it's in six inches, so it's an inch on the bottom, inch on the top. It's just gonna lift it up. Um, I may end up propping the tail, uh, pull the switches or pull the wires on the hydraulic pump, and then cycle the tail wheel, make sure the bigger wheel's gonna clear that opening is all. But again. 
I have no issue with uh, tail wheel shimmy. Never had. Even at that 50 mile an hour, nothing. It just runs true, and it's and it's holding pretty good with my detent spring. So, uh, sorry I didn't uh, give you guys a rundown or a, a video showing this thing taxiing, but it's a little too much trouble today. It's still kind of early. I think it's pushing two o'clock, maybe a little after two. Um, but yeah, the winds are just getting a little too stiff. I mean, that sock is almost straight out, you know, and they said 20 mile an hour gust, but I think that's an 18 mile an hour sock. So, so that's, that's without the gusts. <laughs> but anyway, what I did is I dropped the flaps just to give you something here. So hopefully, um, when YouTube uploads this video, I can get a thumbnail of what it looks like sitting out here like this for you. So, um... I got lucky. All I had to do was tap the starter. Now it's working. Starts up. Doesn't skip a beat. Didn't stall. Just purrs like a kitten. Um, everything looks good. I only put five gallons of gas in it. So if I want to get out and do some more running, I'll bring another five gallon down the next time I come. Um, it'd be really nice to get down here on a, a real calm evening to do it. But right now with the winds coming down the runway, that helps with the uh, forward airspeed so I can do a slower ground speed and get up over that 50 and then we'll see if that tail will come up on its own so all right I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here folks and uh, as always appreciate you taking time to watch these videos uh, feel free to leave any comments questions concerns and I will get back to you on those as fast as I can so for now this is uh, Dino Don out thanks for watching